Hi, my name is Baz Strumitz, and I'm here at the Petro Factory. Um, often we're asked, what are the differences between uh, Petros that were produced uh, during the nationalized era and today's Petros during the leadership of uh, the Petro family? And one of the major points that have changed is that Petrov uh, went back and reintroduced into their pianos uh, principles that were in the instruments back in the 1930s and 1940s, and that went back actually to the very foundation of Petrov. One of these features I'd like to show you is uh, the rim construction in the instruments that are termed Bora, uh, Breeze, and Store. Uh, I have in my hands a piece of elder wood. This wood is dried outside for a period between three, three to five years. Um, this is commonly known as a period of calming down. The wood is, uh, is freed of any pressures. Um, after that, it is brought in and dried down to a percentage level of 6% uh, humidity. Outside, we reach about 15% naturally. Um, you see that then there is, there is these small squares that are glued together. You see the glue transitions here, respectively. Um, you also see that the, the wood is cut uh, vertically. Um, obviously, we tried to use the best wood uh, out of the, uh, uh, the wares that we purchase. Uh, this piece gets then um, integrated into a longer uh, part that will eventually become the rim of these pianos. I'd like to direct your attention to the thickness. I have here a ruler, and you can say, see that the thickness is about 1.5 centimeters, with the slots being about 10 millimeters in depth. If you take a look at uh, the slot placement, you will see that the slots that are in areas that have a higher, stronger curvature uh, are more prominent, more frequent, whereas slots, uh, the slots are less frequent uh, in areas where the curvat curvature is not as pronounced. Um, this uh, entire uh, piece of wood will uh, eventually become the rim of one of those three instruments, the bora, the uh, storm, or the breeze. And is this type of construction, uh, which I have always referred to as the uh, violin uh, corpus uh, construction based on a conversation I had with uh, pianist Paul Bandu Ascola um, is uh, at the heart of Viennese piano building. Uh, Vienna being the center of influence for many factories that are uh, or used to produce in this area in the Central European era. The idea was that not only the soundboard would be a resonating part and a projecting part, but the entire piano, somewhat like a violin. And many manufacturers have moved away from this philosophy, um, primarily because uh, they felt that um, uh, the instrument needed to be cleaner and, and louder. Uh, today, there's only two manufacturers that rely on the Viennese production method, and Petrov is one of them. You will be able to find this feature, as I said, in three of our models. Um, and I'll find another time I'll discuss the, the larger models, which is the Passat, the Monsoon, and the Mistral. In the next video, I'll show you how this uh, looks actually in the rim once the rim is bent. Thank you so much.